Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you, this isn't live. Welcome to another vlog-shaped slice from the rich and gluten-free cake of cinema criticism that is my YouTube channel, to which you will doubtless wish to subscribe, if you haven't yet. Laura Poitras' documentary, All the Beauty and the Bloodshed, is the story of artist and photographer Nan Golden and her relationship with the mega-rich Sackler family and its company Purdue Pharma. The Sacklers became notorious for their addictive opioid painkiller OxyContin, which blighted innumerable American lives, and they culture-washed the resulting colossal profits with art world donations. There's hardly a museum in any first world capital city which didn't salute their narcissism, a Sackler wing or a Sackler courtyard. Golden herself got addicted to Oxy, and she realised she was shown at many of these galleries. So she decided to take the Sacklers down. There's the Sackler family of the art world, the museum world, and philanthropy. And then there's the big pharma marketing and addiction and death. My anger at the Sackler family, it's personal. When you think of the profit of people's pain, you can only be furious. Nan said, I think we should take these people down. But do you think my career will implode? And I said, probably. We need to demand that the Met Museum delude the Tate to refuse donations from the Sacklers and take down their name. This concept was effectively exhibited unofficially in galleries all over the world. The pain protests, her campaign group Pain or Prescription Addiction Intervention Now, carried out thrillingly subversive guerrilla style happenings, which were of course documented live on social media. The images she created and disseminated were compelling. Confrontational art, protest art, auto-fictional art, all fused together in these events, which did a great deal to embarrass museums into removing the Sackler name. It is a happy ending of a sort, but the movie shows that in creating art from personal agony, there is maybe always more bloodshed than beauty. That'll have to be it. Please give this vlog a like and a share on social media. Feel free to do a be real standing in front of it. That would be good. And please, of course, show your commitment to decent cultural values and subscribe to this channel and leave a passionately supportive comment saying that you have done so, generally endorsing my existence. And also, please, buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews for The Guardian. See you next week.